So going on guys, Crypto Mike here with the mic check one two one two. Is this thing on? All right, so I I had to let you know about this project that I've been looking at lately. Um, I still have a lot to do as far as research go, research goes. <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't talked to anyone this morning. <laughs> I just woke up. Um, I'm getting very freaking excited about this, and um, I'm starting to formulate a plan. And it, it could, you know, it could always change, but um, I'm definitely trying to solidify um, like a hard plan that I'm going to implement into my crypto strategy throughout the next few years. Um, because the time's coming, you know, time is coming very soon where we're going to be in a full-blown bull market. Um, and it's time to get serious, you know, stop messing around with stupid shit coins, stop messing around with meme coins except for doge i think that one's going to be here for a while um <clears throat> and get serious about the projects that you're in and i'm i don't have any of this token or this project not yet um i mean i have a little just a tiny bit but not not enough to really even say that i have any but i'm planning on buying some buying a lot actually um, especially if it starts getting bullish, I'm going to have to buy some sooner than later, but I'm going to try to buy this with my link profit. So I'm thinking that link, link looks pretty damn good. And it might start, it might start bursting out of the channel that it's been in for like the last year. And it might start getting very, very bullish, especially with all the CCIP news lately. Um, which I've told you guys link, link is like one of the, the big ones. And we just saw news that it's um, Swift is testing it, and they they've been using it. And Link is needed as a token, like it's necessary. So I hope you guys have some Link. I've been talking about it for for since 2018. <laughs> so hopefully you, you have a little bit of Link at least. Um, not financial advice, but now this is the new token that I'm looking at, um, and I'm planning on buying this with my Link. And I don't want to be very diversified. I want to I want to have a few good projects like Warren Buffett. Just do a lot of research and make sure you're in the right one and just go all in pretty much. And this is what I'm looking at right now. ICP, Internet Computer Protocol. Um, so, you know, I was I was going to wait a little longer, but I just I think that my my followers should know about this. They should know that it no it's not just it's not a vc scam um which is what most people think and that those those are the rumors that have been going around for years now um sbf really screwed with the price when it came out sam bankman freed um through the X, ftx exchange he listed it as a perpetual and it wasn't even listed as spot and i'm talking about icp and so it just it it, it um it rallied the price up like way higher than it should have gone. And then they crashed it hardcore. And then the VCs did sell, but why wouldn't they? You know, it's not, I don't know if they were involved in this at, at all, but um, the very fact that it's considered a scam right now and the price is so low compared to where it was is um, to me, it's bullish because I, I see the potential of this and I'm hearing only a few influencers talk about it <clears throat> um so i wanted to share it with you uh, at least get your eyes on it only because i care about you guys i care about my followers i care about my subscribers because you guys really carried me throughout the last bull market and bull and bear market too and uh, i haven't been around much lately but it's that's a good thing for me actually because i've been able to kind of simplify my view of the crypto market i've been through a ton of shit coins a lot of them, a lot of them, and I've I didn't even I didn't promote them, but I I was very bullish on a few of them, like mean, the meme token, and it just went to zero basically, and I lost so much money, and so now I'm just kind of like starting fresh, pretty much, and um, it, it's it's actually like a blessing in disguise, I guess, as long as I get some more money into crypto, um, before the bull market really starts, which it, it could have already started actually. Um, we might be in the very early stages of a bull market, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of just simplifying my portfolio and what I'm, what, what I'm setting my eyes on. Chainlink is still number one, which it's been for years. Um, and then 
the next one I'm gonna be looking at and very seriously is internet computer protocol. So I just wanted to do this little, um, I'll just read this little thread here that I saw on um, <clears throat> on Twitter. We're starting to see more and more people start believing in it and, and realizing that this is a really serious project. And I mean, really serious. I mean, this could be the future of crypto. Like seriously, bigger than anything else. Um, maybe bigger than Bitcoin, you know, someday. Um, so we'll see. So I'll just go ahead and read this little uh, thread here for you. And um, I'll probably be doing more and more videos about ICP. Um, especially if this is my like big serious project that I'm in um, throughout the next year or two. And this is a very long term project too. So um, let me just go ahead and read this thread for you. And then I'll, I got to go to the gym. So <clears throat> let me read this thread for you here. This is by Eric Buda. Uh, Eric B underscore trades on on Twitter or X um, it says detailed overview of the ICP token it's a long existing project with quite a specific application in the form of solving the problem of blockchain scalability all alpha information from closed sources in thread structural features the project's initial concept is to create a high-speed blockchain with various functionalities such as developing applications websites and storing files the team aims to address the common issue of resource and data centralization among major companies like amazon meta and tencent <clears throat> the project's main innovation lies in transforming the internet which connects different computers into a distributed computer accessible all, to all users. This approach not only achieves decentralization, but also enables the transfer of entire services and applications, software platforms, along with, that, with data. The internet computer team proposes ICP as a new internet standard, allowing for a remarkable transaction per second TPS rate compared to other projects. Additionally, unlike other blockchains, users do not incur any fees for interacting with smart contracts except for transactions. So there's no fee, it's basically fee-less for interacting with contracts as opposed to what, like Ethereum, which basically you're paying an arm and a leg just for one transaction. <clears throat> so the roadmap, the project has a well-defined roadmap with several key innovations. The internet computer has already successfully integrated the ability to interact with Bitcoin without using bridges. This achievement was made possible through the implementation of ECDSA threshold signatures. This integration paves the way for adding Ethereum and other blockchains in a similar manner. The next major goal is to integrate with Ethereum. That's going to be a big deal. And that, that's pretty soon. That's coming soon. So when that happens, that's going to be the next major uh, milestone. And it's going to put them on the map big time. <clears throat> Two, the project also has the added capability of making outgoing HTTPS requests, enabling direct interaction with Web2 services. That's a big deal. Future plans include the, additional, the addition of custom do domain names to further enhance the project's functionality. Yes, I, I'm more excited about this than I've been since anything, when, since basically when I first saw uh, XRP and understood what it is. Um, I don't think I've been, I, w I don't even think I was ex excited about Chainlink as I am about Internet Computer Protocol, even though Chainlink is is bigger than XRP. Um, <clears throat> but I feel this new excitement, which is really I freaking need it. Like I really need it because I've needed this new excitement about something in the space for quite a while. Um, hopefully this is what lights my fire again, gets me going again. Um, and it, it seems to be, you know, it's so hidden right now. No one knows what it is or cares about it that I'm fortunate enough to be able to dollar cost average while it's still cheap. It's only three bucks, you know, and the highest it was ever at was like 600 bucks, I think, or at least 400. <clears throat> okay. So GitHub. Judging by the main repositories in the official GitHub, active development is underway with almost hourly interaction with repositories. According to the developer report, <clears throat> whoops. 
According to the developer report, Internet Computer ranks 11th amongst all blockchains in terms of developer activity. That's pretty good. Below Internet Computer in terms of activity are projects such as Tezos, Optimism, Sui Network, Osmosis, Celo or Celo, um, Avalanche, and everyone loves A Avalanche. I don't know. I don't see what the big deal about Avalanche is. Um, it's nothing very new. I think there was a big project. They had a big partnership or two. <clears throat> but it's nothing like what ICP proposes. According to the crypto methods metric, ICP is in the top week for weekly activity. The number of commits is growing this year. Volume analysis. The price is currently down 99% from its global high. A description of the supposed reasons for such a strong drop is presented in the regulation section. However, now the asset is still experiencing a large volume in one price range, as can be seen from the cluster search highlights, an indicator in the ATAS platform that highlights price levels in clusters with abnormal traded volume. The chart has updated its own minimum and is moving contrary to, B to BCC. <clears throat> Over the past year, the highlights have appeared precisely on declines, which may indicate that market aggression is limited by limit orders. This assumption is confirmed by the order book, where it can be seen that limit orders are predominantly placed for purchase. So honestly, I think there might be a conspiracy, a real conspiracy, to hold the price down as long as possible for this one. Uh, for the people who, you know, the whales to, to increasingly, you know, uh, increase their positions before people realize how big this is going to be. Among the anomalies on relatively low liquidity exchanges, one can highlight Huobi on the USDT pair, where a sharp increase in volume can be seen recently. Just a few months ago. Okay, so minuses. Huge capitalization. The asset is falling despite the local growth of Bitcoin. High competition in the L1 sector. ICP price dropped by 99% and instrument manipulation has already happened. Even now the funds, if they still have unsold assets at the current ICP, price of the seed round is about 80x. The project structure implies that no one except the developer cannot delete the application, which may negatively affect mass adoption due to the lack of censorship of illegal or offensive content, outdated security audit, high probability of subsequent relations. Pros: probable long-term acute oh, probable long-term accumulation based on volumetric analysis. Large team of specialists. They have a big team of specialists. Lots of developers are excited about this project. The project has a regularly out updated roadmap, which indicates active development. Unlike other blockchains, the user does not need to pay for any interaction with dApps, with the exception of transactions. The project e ecosystem includes many applications. New approach in relation to other projects, those seeking a scale blockchain. High activity on GitHub, interest in the project remains despite the long period of existence. Extremely competent. Uh, project founder with extensive experience work in startup technology companies there were no hacking precedents large investors literally most mostly tier one investors most large investors are invested in rounds that did not produce a large number of X's the price is now around the pre-sale round in which a 16 Z participated most coins are in the hands of foundation or teams now it is kind of centralized right now but They'd have to be centralized so that some crazy, some, you know, um, bad, uh, this, some bad actor doesn't go up and buy up all of it and have control of the whole thing. So they're still developing it and they need to have, um, they need to have, you know, some degree of centralization in the very first startup rounds, you know, of the development of the, of the project. Um, it's a massive project. The, the main thing is that it's it's not built on Amazon Web Services. It's it's its own Amazon Web Services. So it's completely um, there's there's no way that there's any centralization outside of the project itself. Um, which basically every every crypto project is built on 
on like Amazon Web Services, basically. So that's the main draw. That's the main thing, is that there's nothing else like it. Like everything else is built on something else. This is completely uh, in-house. Like every single thing about this is in-house. So I think there is, you know, the, the way I see it, there's, there's some kind of conspiracy to, you know, to keep the price low, keep activity kind of just unseen. Um, and I'm, I'm still researching it. I'm going to be looking at it for, for months and months and I'm going to be dollar cost averaging, um, as, as long as I still believe in it. And I do. And I don't think the big wave of like the mass hysteria has come when it comes to this project because it's going, it's going to come, but it might take years. It might take till next, next bull run, or it could, it could be before then. Um, Vitalik has already talked about it. Uh, like he he's already talked about it in a in, in a good light which is really you know very good um he said it's a good competitor to ethereum and that they could actually help each other instead of being competitors um so the way i see it guys it's just really it's, it's just one of these ones that it should be like it's 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 a higher risk than ethereum higher risk than bitcoin higher risk than chain link at this point but the risk reward ratio is so high i mean it's so it's so low that it, it, you may as well have some um that's why i'm just pointing this one out i don't have a whole lot yet so i'm not trying to pump bags or anything like that um i think the cap market cap is like number 35 in relation to other cryptos on uh coin gecko which means it's it's already pretty high but that you know that's good. I mean, that means there's a lot of conviction in it. Um, you know, so anyways, I just wanted to put this out there and I'll probably be doing more videos and more research, stuff like that. Maybe threads on Twitter. Um, the more research I do on this project, I just wanted to put it in, like in your field of vision, you know, just get you guys like just seeing it. So at least I did my part a little bit. And kind of put your eyes on it and I'm not telling you to buy it but I'm telling you to keep it on your radar and if you hear anything about it like just just listen and make sure you kind of just try to keep up to date with it a little bit because I think you're gonna be hearing a lot more positive about it than negative in the, the upcoming few years um, and and one of those positives might be a very sharp increase in price so we'll see. I mean, imagine buying Ethereum at three dollars. It's it's kind of like that. That's how I see it. So, anyways, um, what is this? Twenty minute video. I'll just leave it at that. I gotta go, and then I'll, I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Crypto Mike out. Peace.